Hi everyone, firstly we choose Bera Transit as our IPO assignment, so let's look into the background of the company. Bera Transit was established in 2008. The main activity of Perak Transit is to provide bus transportation service around Perak. It mainly operated at Terminal Aman Jaya. It also operates petrol station at Kuala Kangsar, Ipoh and Lahat. The most important thing is Perak Transit is strongly funded by the government. Now, let's look into the objective of IPO. Now, we move on to the IPO details. Perak Transit is listed at the S market with a par value of 10 cents and the issue price of 50 cents. The number of shares issued for public is 58 billion while 187 million for private investors. All the shares are payable in full on application. Next, IPO is used to Requirement for buying shares Eligible for 21 years old up to 70 years old Malaysian or non-Malaysian who are trading must be a permanent resident How to buy shares First step, open trading account You have to open trading account with stockbroker or participating organization that is registered with Bursa Malaysia Step 2. Choose between nominee or direct trading account. Nominee is appointed broker that holds shares on your behalf. Direct trading account is independent trading without any support. Step 3. Choose between cash upfront or collateralized account. Cash upfront is total trading limit is equal to the amount of cash in your trust account. Collateralized account allowed to trade beyond the amount of the cash that you have in your trust account. Step 4. Open Central Depository System known as CDS Account. CDS Account is an electronic account maintained by Malaysian Central Depository. If you have multiple trading account, then you have to open separate CDS account for that. A part of offline trading, you can also use online trading which can be made through computer and your mobile phone.